The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding, amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip, you won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go, go to Eric's Family Barbecue bbq.com for more info this man needs medical attention holmberg's morning sickness the old method of treatment for a person in this condition was to throw him in jail it is time now for your guadalupe squares it is the nfl hall of fame weekend and the squares are Live in Canton, Ohio now. It's the Canton Square spread. It's not even Guadalupe. Uh, all NFL theme today and pretty darn uh, powerful list of Hall of Famers, save for one, two, three. But we got them in here anyway. They're all going in. Either getting inducted or they're not. The Hall of Fame weekend is here. And here's your host of Hall of Fame Guadalupe Squares weekend, Mr. Jeremy Bergeron. Jeremy. Oh, wait, sorry. There you go. Thank you, John. You must have in the top left corner. Uh, he's the uh, president of the NFL. It's Jerry Jones. Right. I like to consider myself president of the uh, National Football League. Uh, Brady, did you watch uh, last night's I did. game? Did you? Yeah. Now, I understand, Brady, that uh, – hold on. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> How about them Cowboys? They scored three points. Hey, Brady, I understand <laughs> that you have a, a – how do I put this delicately – a rather large-footed daughter that could uh, possibly do some field goals. She can. We we here in Dallas are interested in that. You looking for a kicker? We're looking for a kicker because if you saw our kicker last night, you realize that he doesn't understand what uprights are or directions. I think he had the twisties. He might have. I'm pretty sure that's right. So if you could just uh, apply at uh, DallasCowboysJobs.com backslash kicker. We'd appreciate that. I'll send you some TikTok videos. Just send me a couple of videos of her feet. <laughs> They're legendary. <laughs> All right, in the top middle square, uh, Hall of Famer Bill Cowher. That's right. You know, it's very special. It's very special. This is an unbelievable weekend, Coach. You know, Brady, Brady it's, it's good to see you here, Brady, and I'm glad you could be here. It's very special. What we got going on, I was supposed to get inducted last year. Of course, get emotional about this. Talk to my talk to my daughter, Megan, my wife, V. supposed to go in last year. Of course, COVID stopped that. It stopped that last year. But it's on this so weekend. Emotional. You know, it's really tough going in with Troy. Uh, I drafted Troy. Got Troy going with me. Alan Fanica going in. Guy named Bill Nunn. Uh, got a lot of good folks going in. I'm just really getting emotional about the whole special weekend, Brady. And that. Brady's got a beautiful daughter that's going to start kicking. I understand that. <laughs> you know what, Brady? Live a dream. Live that dream. You got a daughter with a special gift. She got snowshoes for feet. <laughs> It'll be an honor, you coach. Take, you take advantage of that. It's like having a kid with flippers and not putting in the pool. Special. My daughter Megan doesn't have those skills. But I'm telling you right now, Brady, it's very special. You take your daughter and her giant ass canoe feet, <laughs> you put her on a football field, and you make that thing happen. I'm very proud of you. Get her in the Hall of Fame someday. Someday there'll be a woman in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, in the top right square, uh, he's good at two things, and one of them's football. It's OJ Simpson. <laughs> Dude, Jeremy's crazy. Hello, hello, Twitter Guadalupe Squares world. OJ is the Hall of Famer. You forget about that. I've been in, I've been in a lot of got the blazer on. I've been in a lot of special buildings. Yeah, I've been in the penitentiaries and and uh, you know courtrooms and stuff. Uh, but right now I'm just out on the golf course trying to have, trying to have a nice time. And I'm trying to. They didn't invite me to the Hall of Fame weekend. If you can believe it, I got the gold coat. I mean, it's covered in blood now. <laughs> I got the gold coat. I understand. You were wearing. I it? was wearing the Hall of Fame jacket when I committed those horrible atrocities. In June of 94. Of course I was. I, you know, if somebody says O.J. Simpson in his Hall of Fame coat is murdering two people, nobody's going to believe that. So, of course I dressed up in my Hall of Fame. We make it look like I was being set up. You didn't make the cut this year of the Hall no, of Fame. I, right? Well, I got a branch <laughs> making puns. That's a good Brett. I mean, I'm just saying. That's what Brett's going to the cut. That's a, Brett, you made a nice point. <laughs> this is another knife joke that, you know. Slicing through the airwaves. <laughs> That's the right away. 
Happy Hall of Fame weekend, everybody. I'm not allowed in. All right, in the middle left square, uh, he's in an empty garage. It's Ray Lewis. I'm I'm in Canton, Ohio. I'm in an empty garage. H-O-F. Hall of Famer. Ray Lewis. I killed people, too. (laughs) And I'm allowed. It's not fair. He can get it. How come? (laughs) It's not fair because I didn't get caught. (laughs) I didn't either. I mean, they let me loose. The juice got loose. All you need to know is he killed two people. And two. Plus five is seven. I've killed five people. I've only been talked about once. <laughs> All you have to do is stare at which one is the, the support beam. No, low barren wall. Not on my watch. Everybody knows Ray Lewis didn't kill everybody, but he did kill somebody. And that's all you need to know, Brady. Ain't no mistakes with God. I believe you. Of course, you give me because I make sense when I speak the words of the Trinity. God don't make no mistakes. 40 foot Michael Phelps. Words. It's indisputable. When I speak, people listen. Why'd the chicken cross the road, Brady? Why, Ray? Because it was other chickens. Everybody knows the story of the chicken. Unbelievable. That's why. And it's indisputable. It's fact. Jeremy, you know it. Yes, sir. That's right. Seven little chipmunks sitting on my fence. Eating all the corn nuts off my uncle's hands. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. Because you don't understand the depth of the mine. <laughs> that's clubbing tonight, Ray? I'm going right. clubbing tonight in my white suit. <laughs> I'm going to throw that out. <clears throat> All right, in the middle square, it's a gotta, field goal kicking Brady and Kirby. Gotta, gotta line it up, Curbs, and get it between the two yellow sticks. Daddy, I don't know about all this. I just kicked a 70 yarder on accident just walking on the football field. <laughs> that thing flew <laughs> off my foot, baby. We're going to get you in the NFL, Kirby Derbs. Uh, John, do you have any cleats that uh, Kirby could borrow? Because you're the same size foot. Yeah, that old pirate over there hands me his leftover shoes. <laughs> I've already outgrown three pair there, buddy. I need some more. There goes another one right through. I'm like that donkey in the Disney movies. I could kick field goals across the entire nation, baby. That's how I roll. Daddy! <laughs> they just changed my last name. The Cardinals signed me because Steve Kimes drunk again. I'm Kirby Grammatica. <laughs> and I'm going to kick for the Arizona Cardinals just this year. Just don't celebrate it. That's right. With a Colt 45 in one hand. No jumping. Probably be on Twitch kicking field goals for some cash later tonight. Just, just stop talking about it, start kicking. Let's get Daddy some cash. It's got to be some family that pulls their weight. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Tired of it. All right, go ahead. All right, middle right square. Uh, Let him live. Yeah, he believed in the magic. That's right. He's uh, celebrating early for future Hall of Famer uh, Kyler Murray. It's Ron Wolf. Kyler Murray's birthday this weekend. Hi, David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday (laughs) to Kyler Murray. I tell you what, David, we've got ourselves quite a quite a story brewing out there in the West Valley. I'm going to tell you right now, Ron Wolfley, the most colorful color analyst in the Hall of Football. So excited. About Kyler Murray. He's in my pocket now. I'm holding him hostage. Kyler, I'm going to pet him and love him all through his birthday. Let me out of here, man. Let me out of this little pocket. Quiet down, Kyler. Oh, do I love Kyler Murray so much, David? I'm excited for the football. Brady, are you ready to go? Oh, yeah, I'm a blood yeah, farmer. We're going to. Yeah, little Pantera right there would have been appropriate. So excited for the show. Jacked up. How come I'm not in the Hall of Fame? Oh, I wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the bottom left square, it's Brady's secret square. Give us some hints, Brady. Yeah, yeah. I was number 71 for the Detroit Lions. I was like me. I'm going into the Hall of Fame. We're similar. I sound a little bit, but let me just tell you, Mongo's going into the Hall of Fame. It's about time. Oh. He wasn't there already? I was, uh, no. Wow. Yeah, George Papadopoulos was getting jacked around. That's my dad. Shut up, Webster. <laughs> <laughs> Kyler and Papadopoulos in the same squares. Coincidence? I don't think so. All right, in the bottom middle square, uh, it's Lou Holtz. Hey, hey, bless you all for just having me in the NFL squares. Now, I did some coaching in the NFL as well with the New York Jets. 
favorite square. I used to call them the Jetropolitans, but it didn't make any sense. But I just enjoyed <laughs> being a football coach in the National Football League and all that. I'm not allowed to be in the National Football League. I'm not allowed to give speeches anymore because they call me a COVID super spreader because Here's of my napkin, voice sir. impediment. Thank you very much for that tissue. I'm going to need that from all the drooling that I do on a regular basis. If you like my hair, you can go over to Adam the Barber and Mesa and get yourself a loo do. How's <laughs> <laughs> about that? I have special stuff going on right now, keeping myself busy during Delta. Nobody wants the COVID plus, but that's what I do. I just go out there. I tell folks, just believe in Jesus Christ. Stop picking that elbow. What are you doing? <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> the leader was popping a zit on his arm while I was talking, and I'm the one who's not allowed to give public speeches. He shouldn't be out of his box. I thought you were spitting on me, but look I got at, hit by a zip. Look at this microphone. It looks like a grapefruit. It's so juicy and wet now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? Does Sasha have a spit on You know what? Just, you, you woke pussies, some people say. <laughs> that. I still speak the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's such a big Christian, isn't it, baby? They'll find the church. You and I both agree. <laughs> All right, in the bottom right square, yeah. he is the Hall of Fame. Oh. It's the boss man himself, yeah. Trip Reed. I am TFR, Trip Reed, and I'm in the Hall of Fame this week, and I'll be presenting no one in the Hall of Fame. I'll just be presenting my genitals for use of all the ladies <laughs> in Canton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ladies in Canton good, there, Oh, Trip? yeah. I'm in the MFHOF. <laughs> <laughs> the mother f- hall of fame yeah for guys who are good at f- mothers <laughs> uh, yeah all right get on with it all right who do we have all tiffany right. and chris yep tiffany i assume is the girl here tiffany you're a so. girl yep did you say mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> wow. yeah. chris you're a boy oh. it's my favorite type of tip <laughs> yeah. chris uh you're a boy tiffany you're a girl pick a square I'll go with the bottom left, please. Uh-oh. She knows. <laughs> Let's Mongo. Square. You know the secret square? I'm impressed. <laughs> don't be that impressed. <laughs> you don't know? Um, No, but, you know, it's Alex Carr. Alex Carr. Alex- Karis is correct. Somebody, Alex somebody told her. Somebody, somebody showed her. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That makes uh, Brett happy. X that means- gets the square. Wow. All right, Chris, pick a square. Could I get uh, Trip Reed, please? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. See, out of all the Hall of Famers, I got picked first, if you don't count Mongo over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Mongo. Take a nap. Jeez, this guy. Destined for heart failure. All right, go ahead. All right, boss man. or false, Brazil is the only country to play in every World Cup tournament. Every World Cup tournament? Including, like, ping pong World Cup or soccer only? Soccer only. I'll say true. Brazil's always in there. But I don't know. But I love a big, fat Brazilian ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like them thick and juicy. <laughs> Thanks. That's Sir right. Sir mix a trip. <laughs> Sir trips a lot. Lou yeah. likes them uh, thick and juicy, don't you? Yes, Lou? I do. But usually they're just thick, and then I make them juicy by getting down there and getting busy. Num num nums. Oh, <laughs> oh, best For the coach Lord ever. Jesus, the best coach ever. I'll chew your ass. I will chew your ass. Literally, it All just right. turns into like a. It looks like a rawhide after a Saint Bernard's been after it. Right, Chris, he says true. Do you agree or disagree? Yep. I say false. I right, shouldn't have done that. It is true. Oh, X gets the square. Oh, oh good. Wow. Then I can be the clink. That's right, Tiffy. Take Lou Holt for the win. Another win again, Lou. Right. Hey. All right. Say it out loud. Say it loud for Lou Holt for the win. You know, it always comes down to me in the end, and I'm a winning coach, winning college and professional levels. I used to always winning. win. And nobody's won more in life than me once I turn my life over to Jesus Christ of the Christians. He's my favorite person I've never met before. Except for you, Tiffany, because I understand you're probably pretty nice. You're bright. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Sure. Nope, that wasn't a quick answer. You're going to burn an eternal hellfire for just having that doubt in your mind. Nope, you're just going to burn in hellfire, probably for being a whore. (laughs) More than likely, you spend a lot of time being a whore, listening to this rock and roll music and letting anybody infiltrate your vagina like it's some sort of a tunnel into a beautiful city. But it's not. It's not. What it is, it's your sewer. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's a woman sewer, Brad. Don't fool yourself. You get down there and you start realizing those smells aren't roots and stew from what you eat. There's nothing going on there. It's a hole in your body. All your holes in your bodies are designed to just excrete filth from inside your body. That's nothing about that thing. Look, that's why a baby comes out of it. Your body is rejecting the child that lives inside you, and it pushes it out through your sewer. And that's exactly what a woman's vagina is. And anybody who says different is going to burn an eternal hellfire next to Tiffany. Take that, Tiffany. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Do we even get a question? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At Notre Dame, I used to turn all the boys into men, and at Penn State, they hated that. They like to keep them boys. <laughs> Just a little well, aside. You get an X for that. Just a rivalry. You don't get an X for that. Are you trying to have sex or something? You in a hurry? I would assume you probably got some whoring to do by 10 o'clock. <laughs> All right, Mr. Holtz, true or false? Yeah, let's get the Jezebel a question. Coach, the first Rocky movie was filmed in only 28 days. The very first Rocky movie starring Sylvester Stallone and Ty oh. Iron. Bert, what's his name? He was good, too. Bert Jones. Ward. I coached Bert Jones for a little while. Bert Ward. Bert Ward, that's right. <laughs> Batman's partner was also Rocky's the first opponent in the movie No One Sucks. It was filmed so fast. Holy uppercut. Then they just superimposed Apollo Creed over Bert Ward and they got it done. I'll say that's true. 28 days. I could get a movie done in 28 days. If you can rehabilitate from, like Tiffany, I'm sure you're familiar with 28 days as many times as you've visited a rehab center for probably whoring and drinking and drugs and such. Am I wrong? Nope. Yes, you are wrong. Oh, you've never been to rehab? Why so you, quiet? You, you, you choose to continue these Jezebel-like whoring ways without rehabilitation? <laughs> I understand. That's why you're yeah. going to burn an eternal hellfire. you probably get a right-hand seat next to the good Satan himself. Anywho, I'll just have to go along and say that movie took 28 days. That makes enough sense for me. He says just like true. it takes... Hey, Tiffany, you know how long 28 days is exactly how long it takes to get your STD tests back. <laughs> Is that true? I think so. That's what. Tw- uh, let me ask Tiffany. She's the expert. <laughs> I'm just going to agree. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It is true. Oh, she right. won. Tiffany wins. More importantly, Chris loses because Chris gave Brett some lip on the phone and Brett's been rooting against you the whole time, Chris. That's a truth. Hold on a second. But, but, I don't want to hear from him we, at all. Sorry about that, everybody. Got a little excited and now Lou won't leave. <laughs> So excited for football. So let's get that straight. We got Hall of Fame weekend here, and the three squares that were chosen were George Papadopoulos from Webster <laughs> Trip and me. <laughs> we Back shipped over Jerry Jones, O.J. Simpson, Bill Cower, Ron Wolfley. We got Ray Lewis up in there, but we're the three most popular ones. Everybody was in their 80s. Okay, I got to make the door sound so this guy leaves my mouth. See ya. Well, I've said that before. <laughs> go Irish. <laughs> Don't say see ya. There we go. It's Pavlovian. Once, once that happens, it's all over. The uh, demons. Uh, yeah, the exorcism. I guess <laughs> the haunting. Uh, that's it. Let's get the heck out of here, shall we? We're all done. Uh, there you go. NFL Hall of Fame week. It is good to have NFL talk back. Yes. Last night. When do the Bears play? Next week? During the week? I don't. It's one of those weird Wednesday Thursday yeah. games. Yeah. Seahawks play Saturday. There's three game, two games on Thursday, three games on Saturday. Next week. Yeah. And nothing this weekend but nothing Hall of Fame. There's going to be a ton of them. A yeah. lot of people going in, and I think there's too many speeches because they have to do last year and this they year. They announced a new lineup for it. They're not going to let everybody talk. I think they're, they're pre-taping some of them. Oh, really? I, th- I think so. They're, they, were annou- they were talking hmm. about it on Sports Radio on the way in. They changed the, they changed the format. I'm curious. I want to see, uh, Bill Cowher's going to cry the whole time. He cries constantly. He's going to start crying. Just give one of these moments. You're not, it's pretty special. <laughs> He said special about six times in the interview last night. It's real special going on with Troy. And... It's a real special moment. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> he just, ever since he retired, he turned into a, an emotional Harlequin romance woman. Uh, that's it. We're done. You guys have yourselves a fantastic weekend. We'll see you. Happy right birthday, Bert. Oh, happy birthday, no, Bert. Birthday. Thank happy you. birthday, everybody. Thank you. Oh, and I, I wanted to read this before. Uh, somebody said this before we go. It said, uh, I just wanted to say how much better the show is with Bert. Uh, I liked it the old way. I love it this way. The attitude's more fun, which makes it more fun to us. And that's a tribute to Bert, which is also kind of a one-year anniversary of this guy being on the show. So. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Keep you. it up. Thank you for filling those tiny little shoes. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's, uh, it's great to have you. So happy birthday, Bert. Thank you. Uh, we're done. You guys have a good one. We will see you Monday here in the school. Uh, morning sickness. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> If the younger generation doesn't get into rock, then guess what? An art form has died. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Eric's Family BBQ.com.